Hello. Uh, today's reading will be The Real Princess by Hans Christian Andersen. Um, I will post the link to the reading in the chat box. And if I'm uploading this to YouTube, I'll also put it in the um, description box as well. Here we go. All right. And now I'm going to share my screen so that I can begin the reading. You can follow along. Okay, this is the meetup group. There we go. The Real Princess by Hans Christian Andersen, page 333. There once was a prince who wanted to marry a princess, but she must be a real princess, mind you. So he traveled all around the world, seeking such a one, but everywhere something was in the way. Not that there was any lack of princesses, but he could not seem to make out whether they were real princesses. There was always something not quite satisfactory. Therefore, home he came again, quite out of spirits for he wished so much to marry a real princess. One evening, a terrible storm came on. It thundered and lightened, and the rain poured down. Indeed, it was quite fearful. In the midst of it, there came a knock at the town gate, and the old king went out to open it. It was a princess who stood outside, but oh dear, what a state she was in from the rain and bad weather. The water dropped from her hair and clothes, it ran in at the tips of her shoes and out at the heels, yet she insisted she was a real princess. Very well, thought the old queen, that we shall presently see. That we shall presently see. She said nothing, but went into the bedchamber and took off all the bedding, then laid a pea on the sacking of the bedstead. Having done this, she took 20 mattresses and laid them upon the pea and placed 20 eater down beds on top of the mattresses. The princess lay upon this bed all the night. In the morning, she was asked how she had slept. Oh, most miserably, she said. I scarcely closed my eyes the whole night through. I cannot think what there could have been in the bed. I lay upon something so hard that I am quite black and blue all over. It is dreadful. It was not quite evident that she was a real princess since through 20 mattresses and 20 eater down beds, she had felt the pee. None but a real princess could have such delicate feeling. So the prince took her for his wife, for he knew that in her, he had found a true princess. And the pee was preserved in the cabinet of curiosities, where it is still to be seen, unless someone has stolen it. And this, mind you, is a real story. That was by Hans Christian Andersen, page 333. Very lovely picture right here. Thank you for joining in on this reading. This was a much shorter one than normal, um, but I still do appreciate everyone who listens in and continues to support everything we do here. Um, please read, read on your own and come back, hear me read again. I'd be very happy to. I'll be here again tomorrow. All right. Before I leave, I do just want to say one more thing. All right. I want you all to know that if you do want to join us in our um, Zoom, the Zoom meeting ID is 380, so that's 380-546-7778.
The meeting ID is 380-546-778. The passcode is 1111. Passcode is 1111. I'm going to post this into the chat box. And then when I post this onto YouTube, um, I'm also going to, oh my gosh, where's the chat? <laughs> okay, there it is. Okay, when I post it on YouTube, I'll also put it in the description box. I'm hoping this should just stay the same forever. I don't think there should be a reason for it to change. Um, so from now till 10 years from now, I hope you should be able to access the Zoom with the same meeting ID and the passcode is 11. Um, and that's where the story can be accessed, okay? Just so you know, this event is free and open to the public. If you would like, please consider giving to the host or the main reader, which is me today, um, via PayPal at ajiroanaibe1 or interact at edgeanaibe at gmail.com. Because every dollar helps to keep this meetup running daily. It does count. And other readers, whether we have guest readers or other members of our um, meetup who want to read, can go ahead and this is a platform for you, for anybody, for your cousin, for your dog, for your baby who's just learning how to read. Bring your child. If you're a university student, you wanna do your university readings here, come ahead and understand that while you're here, it's your platform, be good, be civil, everything is recorded for safety. And so we're able to report to meet up anybody who's got a um, But I do want you to know that um, other readers can also provide their own personal methods of payment too. It also helps them and encourages them to continue this group. Um, other than that, that's completely optional. You do not have to pay anything. This event is free. It's completely open for your um, entertainment, for your leisure. And um, I wanna thank you all for your love and your support. You are valuable to me and to other members of this group and you definitely are wanted here and needed in this place. Thank you so much. I will post this too so that you have the details in the Zoom. I will also post it in the um, YouTube description box. Thank you very much for joining in with me. This is fun and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.